Well, a program to educate drivers who routinely break the speed limit and run red lights has just been allowed to expire, and the city has no plans to replace it. And transportation advocates say now that drivers face no meaningful consequences to driving recklessly, we are all at risk. Here's Arthur Chan. It's putting our communities at risk. It's a risk we see drivers taking all over the city, and data shows it's gotten worse during the pandemic. Running red lights and speeding are reckless driving habits the city has been unable to tackle. And now it is surrendering the main tool it had to combat repeat offenders called the Dangerous Vehicle Abatement Program, or DVAP. It's just expired, and the city has no plans to replace it. What message does that send to parents who, you know, are, are trying to get their kids safely to school or to, you know, people who have lost a loved one to traffic violence? Under DVAP, car owners who received five red light or 15 speeding tickets within the past year had to take a driver safety course or have their vehicles seized. But a DOT study found the education approach did not work, that the same cars racked up tickets afterwards anyways. And of the more than 700 that didn't even reply, the city was only able to seize about a dozen cars. City Comptroller Brad Lander sponsored the bill when he was on the city council. He says if anything, DVAP needs to be strengthened with consequences, like having their license suspended. There was a great idea to share information with insurance companies so that if you're a super reckless driver, you pay a higher insurance premium. The city's transportation department tells us since this education-based program did not change the habits of the worst of the repeat offenders that Albany needs to get involved and pass state laws that would remove dangerous drivers from our roads. Experts consider that a long shot pointing out this past session, Albany refused to let the city decide its own speed limits. To underscore what's at stake, both Landers and Transalt point to the death of seven-year-old Kamara Hughes in Brooklyn last week, struck and killed on his way to school. A symbol that while dangers exist on our streets, the city just surrendered what should have been its biggest deterrent. Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News.